Do you miss these lovebirds? How about Otumba and Mrs. Adekunbe Michael Douglas? I know you definitely miss Mrs. Jesu Pelumi and Baba Soja. I will gun you down. Bridge Season 2 will be coming to your screens soon. Would you love to support us financially for this project? Please use any of his account details. Naira account, account name Brodrum Production, bank name GTB, account number 0589272475, dollar or domiciliary account, account name Ayobami Adibuiga, bank name Warranty Trust Bank BTB, City Unity Road, Ilori Quara State. Account number 0034309507. Swift code GTBINGLA. Sort code 0581444413. You can send directly to our dollar account using World Remit app, Sendwave app, or any other application. Name Ayobami Adibuiga. Bank name Warranty Trust Bank. GTB. Account number 0034309507. Phone number plus 2348035054181. Or a PayPal account, husband and wife series 2 at gmail.com. Thank you. God bless you. morning but all my plans keep failing don't worry it'll be fine it's as if god is just punishing me for my sins oh. Oh. so i'm here do what you want with me ah uh, now that you are here you will need to go through the initiation process for two weeks <laughs> I killed him. Ah, don't say that. <laughs> I know I did. My son was into drugs. And I never suspected. I mean, what kind of a mother am I? God is an ever-present heir. If there is life, Sister Mubo, there is hope. I just begged you people that I don't want any salmon. I just want to be left alone. Please! Please! Ha! Ah!
What afternoon, Mommy? Good afternoon, Sheila. Mommy, what are you doing? We are going home. Home? I thought you said you would never go back there again. I have changed my mind. So now we are going home. Abi, what are you still doing here?
Sheila. Ma. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, ma. <laughs> no school today? I'd rather wait here today. Hmm. How is she now? I don't even know. One minute she's normal. The next she becomes full foul tempered. We have been in and out of this rehab for more than one year now. And it's getting really scary. Um all is well. I I hope she's taking her medications. She is. And she's not trying to harm herself in any way. Not recently. Good. It's all right. Um, big mommy. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? What is it? I saw a corpse being wheeled out just now. Since I've been seated here, I've counted three. Mm -hmm. My mother died too. Uh huh. What? How can you even... Oh, here comes the doctor. Hello, Sheila. It's me, your dad. I know it's been a while since we've spoken, and I feel really, really bad that I've let you down. It's a long story that I hope I'll be able to tell you about someday. It's so heartbreaking that we have lost Michael and now your mother. It's so sad. Anyway, in life, what matters is the hope for a better tomorrow. I know you understand me. I have sent you a sum of $1,000 to help with your mother's burial arrangement and for your upkeep. I love you. Your dad. Eighteen years. Eighteen years and this is what you get, Mom. Why didn't you just leave? This man abandoned you. His other wife abused you. And yet you stayed. All for what? A thousand dollars. Mother, you were a lot of things, but you were not that cheap. What were you really holding on to? Love? your vows, your dignity. You were holding on to a man who had let go a long time ago. Now that you have crashed, all he can send is a thousand dollars. Will that suit all the years of pain he has caused us? Will that bring back all the time that has been lost? Life is gone. Will his money bring it back? Where was it through all the time when you were sick? And now he even asked the gods to call himself my father. For your information, Fela Kalejaye, my father died the day he left the shores of this country. Your marriage to my mom was a sham and a prison for her. She had a bright future, but her light could not shine all because she was married to a deserter. You broke her heart and it never mended. You destroyed her. Marriage is just a scam that men used to hold women down. Rather than allow lightning strike twice with me, I would rather forgo love and marriage. Good readers. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon, madam. You're welcome, sir. Sheila, how are you? I'm fine, sir. No school today. I thought you would be coming later in the day. I'm not going to school today. Yeah. Hope all is well. All is. Mm. Um, good doctor, 
how is my niece's uh, current situation now? Well, we need to talk in my office. Shall we? Doctor, um, can I come with you? All right. It's my mother we're talking about. All right. Come with me. <laughs> if you will recall, the first time Mrs. Kalejaye was brought here, on examination, she was diagnosed with mild depression. Now, I am sorry to tell you that she is showing severe symptoms of dysthymia. That is, what is that? Persistent depression. Persistent depression? Yes. I think she has always had mood swings. This is more severe than mood swings. It is a very serious mood disorder. I mean, she was already becoming suicidal before she got treatment. A person diagnosed with persistent depressive disorder may have episodes of major depression along with periods of less severe symptoms <sighs> but symptoms must last for two years to be considered persistent depressive disorder excuse me doctor how is it possible for my mother to have been depressed for more than two years without anybody knowing it. Well, our record here shows that she has been in and out of this hospital for the past two and a half years. So, it is likely that she has been depressed long time ago. Doctor, what can we do now? Well, if she keeps taking her anti the pleasant consistently it will go a long way secondly i have said this before and i will still say it again that she needs to participate more actively in the group therapy session sharing and listening to others is a great way to heal thirdly she needs to evolve mentally and she cannot do this without your help a lot of exercise and positive activities will really help her you have to support her in every way she needs to heal and let go of her past i know it is not easy but it is a gradual process. Lastly, she needs to be more open and truthful with me, a psychiatrist. So, provided she does all this, it means she will not die right. Sheila, all will be well. Your mommy will be fine. Hmm? Who is it? Auntie K. Ah, please come in. Big mommy. This is such a surprise. I didn't know you were coming. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, my dear. Yes, mommy. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Yeah. What brings you here, mommy? Welcome, ma. Hmm. It's nice seeing you, my dear. Thank you, mommy. I'm happy to see you too. Um, actually, I have come to apologize to you. Apologize? For what? Hmm. You know, after the death of my brother, that is your grandfather, he made me to be your mother's guardian. But 
for some stupid reasons. Your mother decided to cut off from the family. <sighs> I also did not go after her. I was even too proud to go to her. But she came to me anytime she needed help. I was always relieved when I see her in good health. But um, I feel very guilty for not standing up to help her when Fala was planning to swindle her. <sighs> I suspected, but out of respect for the sanctity of her marriage, I decided not to speak up. I wish I had spoken up firmly. She had to sell her inheritance, the piece of land that her father gave her in order to fund Fela Strip. She was naive and needed someone to hold her family. But unfortunately, I wasn't there. I struggle with this guilt in my heart since she became sick and miserable. Recently, I got courage to speak with God. And he gave me his words in John chapter 1, verse 9. I confessed to him as I am confessing to you now. He has forgiven me and cleansed all my sins. Sheila, I'm also asking you for forgiveness too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Big Mommy, when my mom was sick and was frequently admitted in the hospital, I really did not see anybody, but you were there. You have been my only family since Michael died. I cannot hold what I did not know about against you. I would rather hold on to what I know. I forgive you, Big Mommy. Thank you for telling me these things. Oh, Sheila. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. I promise to be your guard to watch and guide you as you blossom in life. Till I take my last breath, I will never leave your side. Thank you, Big Mommy. I really appreciate it. So, Big Mommy, what can I offer you? Ah. Um, a glass of water will be fine. Okay, ma'am. Eh, but before you go. Okay. I want to ask you something. What is it, ma? I'm so happy. <laughs> now that you are a grown-up woman, and very pretty too, <laughs> um, is there any man on the map? Um, I mean, have you been contemplating marriage? Marriage? It's not on my radar. Uh -uh. What do you mean? I do not intend to get married. Ah, uh ah, -uh. uh, Sheila. You are joking, right? What do you mean you don't want to get married? My dear, like I have told you many times, it's just something that I don't ever want to do. It's for personal reasons. Just take it from me like that. Why will a woman never want to get married? <laughs> Why must a woman get married? Is marriage a purpose in life? Mm? 
Eh. What? Does Benjamin know this? Well, you ought to understand that by now. You this girl. The more I know you, the more fascinating I find you. <laughs> Welcome to my world. But then, it appears not everybody here finds me fascinating. My dear friend, you really need to work on your social skills. You think it's very easy to be your only friend in this office. You are not sociable at all, if I will be honest. Babe, I am here to get work done and not to socialize. <laughs> now who socialize in Ep? Talk. Now you sabi. Ahen, about that single thing in my church, will you be following me? No. The way you run away from church, eh, I think one of these days, I may have to come and bundle you myself. <laughs> hey, try it now. That's the day you will know I have a black belt in Taekwondo. Oh, I beg you. Uh -uh. I only fight with the sword of the spirit and the word of God. Anyway, there is something I would love to tell you. But you need to wait to the close of work. Uh-uh, now. Just tell me. You know I hate suspense. I might not the one that wants to tell you something. So, patiently wait till we meet at our usual spot. Dinner is on me. So, get back to work. Chatting instead of working. Basic girl. <laughs> Look at this spot calling care to black. Bye-bye, Joe. You and Cruz. I'm Cruz, baby. I mean what I'm saying. Why are you trying to use sweet words on me this evening, Benjamin? I do it every time, but you are so averse to proper romance. Oga, what do you want? Uh, can we hang out this evening? No, can't do. I already have a date with Shewa. Oh, our chief bridesmaid. <laughs> Joker. <laughs> anyway, how did your day go? It was okay. And yes, I have eaten. I just closed from work and I want to quickly freshen up at home before my meeting with Shewa. Oh, 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 all right. Let me allow you to drive safe. Let me know when you get home. I love you. Okay. Thank you. Hello to the best dad in the world. Good evening, sir. I'm fine. She's also fine. How is mommy? Oh, my regards to her. Shewa, you know you have started again, Abby. Are you going to tell me what this thing is, or do you want me to change it for you? <laughs> Sheila, be coming down. Come your now, babe. Impatience can be very counterproductive. Anyway, I want to tell you something. If I do, please don't freak out. What is it? <sighs> Talk now. Okay. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Husband and Wife series. I did. But girl, you are sure. Uh -uh. You saw that poor guy cold breakfast on a chilly morning. He asked for it. What's that for? Thank you so much for watching today's episode of the Husband and Wife series. I humbly request that you do just three things for me. One, like this video. Two, subscribe to our channel three share this video with others and don't forget to comment see you next friday A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife love each other sincerely. For you are my joy. joy, joy, joy.
love of my life. I will miss you, Tom Goswood. My heart belongs to you. Hey, oh, you were my joy. Godly home where true love is shared. 